Hey, how's it going, YouTubers, Spew and Spew Buzz? Today's gonna be a little bit shorter of a video, just gonna be kind of like a deck profile on the YouTube box deck I played over the weekend, uh, and I managed to get second place with at a League Cup. Uh, before we get into the video, I just want to go ahead and give a quick shout out to my sponsor and team, Dead Draw Gaming, uh, deaddrawgaming.com. If you need codes, cards, go over there, use code Azul for 5% uh, off. Also, if you didn't know, I do stream on Twitch every Monday to Friday, starting up around between 12 and 1 p.m. Eastern time uh, over on twitch.tv slash azulgg. Be sure to check that out as well. And uh, let's go ahead and get into the list. So I played Mewtwo Box at uh, uh, my League Cup over the weekend. I managed to get second place um, and only lost in the finals because unfortunately I'm slower than uh, I should be. And we went to time in game three. Definitely my fault for not playing at a faster pace. Um, and it ended up coming down to a head on prizes um, and we didn't have quite enough time to finish out the game, but I do blame myself for that overall. Definitely could have played faster. Uh, lost to an Abilities Art in the finals. But yeah, this is the list I played. Um, I've been showing quite a bit of Mewtwo Box gameplay on this channel uh, recently, so I thought I would just go over the list a little bit more in depth uh, and talk about the cards, the tech cards specifically that I played for this uh, this cup. Shout out to Caleb Gettimer in particular, uh, who was like the uh, main source of the list and the, the tech cards specifically. So you got the standard uh, Pokemon in here. You got the Solgaleo, you got the Naganadel, Charizard GX. We got the new Charizard GX, which is insane. I think this makes this deck like twice as good uh, as it normally was. The Flare Blitz being able to do 300 damage for four energy is absolutely absurd. It's just ridiculous. I think it's like literally insane. Um, the amount of like tempo and like just overall power this card brings to the deck. Um, and I really saw that a lot at my uh, League Cup this weekend. So yeah, definitely 100% play this. Um, actually, interestingly, there is the, the ninth place list, the bubble list from Sheffield Regionals did not play the Flare Strike Rush's art. And I think I'm definitely gonna try that out. I think it's definitely possible that this card isn't really necessary anymore to have in the deck. And I definitely think I wanna try no Flare Strike Rush's art out uh, in the list from here on out. So this kind of opens up a spot in the deck because um, I don't think it's as necessary as it was um, now that you have this Rush's art or this Charizard in the deck. Um, but yeah, this guy's insane. This guy's okay. The Flare Strike is still nice to have access to. Not as essential it feels like to have this guy in the deck anymore though. So I definitely want to, because after, the, after um, the ninth place list from Sheffield Regionals didn't have this in there, just, that definitely makes me curious to try out the deck without it. Um, so yeah, if you're looking for a spot to cut to add anything, I would say cut this guy. Um, let's talk about the other tech cards. So yeah, there's so Galio, staple in the deck. Uh, SPN Deoxys, you gotta play it. Uh, the Giratina, um, a super cool card addition to the deck. Very good against Malamar. When you go second, you can actually still go with a turn one cross division plus the Giratina's Distortion Door, and you can knock out two Inkays in play, making it so maybe they can't attack next turn, um, or just really setting them far, setting them far behind um, they'll want to go get Inkays on the next turn, and then you could even go with the Venom Shot and snipe their Malamar that they have set up. So super strong for the Malamar matchup. Potentially good against Blacephalon to help you skip B-String. You can like Venom Shot a Blacephalon, punch another Blacephalon with Turbo Strike, and then go Distortion Door, KO the Bench Blacephalon, knock out the active one. Not You have to kind of... The, the matchup has to play out specifically in that scenario for that to be pulled off. So it's not great against Blacephalon. It's just sometimes cute. Um... The real reason it's in the deck is to actually help you beat Keldeo in Nag Quag. Um, you can set him up through the Turbo Strike, through a Mewtwo. You can like Turbo Strike some small stuff early on, uh, putting the energy on this guy. It, Keldeo has to two-shot this. They can one-shot one of these once with their GX attack if they want to. Um, and then you can get it back. And then you can go like double custom catcher up a, a Nag or a Quag. Turbo Strike, knock that out, put the energy back on the Giratina and then set him up again to hit into a Keldeo. Um, so the real reason this is in here is it is an answer to Keldeo, a pretty efficient answer to Keldeo. I think it does give you the advantage in the Nag Quag matchup for sure. And any other decks that are like running a one of Keldeo or some other Keldeo shenanigans, it also gives you the ability to beat those decks with this guy. So it's a nice addition, not essential, specifically pretty, very good in the Malamar matchup. But once again, not, not even essential in the Malamar matchup, I feel like it's really, if you wanna beat Keldeo, I would say play this. If you don't care about beating Keldeo, don't play this card. Not necessary um, at all, except for beating Keldeo. If you're trying to beat Keldeo, play this dude. He's really cool. Uh, the one Jirachi GX, staple. One Latios GX, staple. Gotta play him. 
uh, too good not to play. Uh, the Mars Shadow, I would definitely keep playing in, in there as well. The Mewtwo, super cool addition to the deck, and I really liked it. It basically replaced the second Bills analysis here. Um, so you can get, you can use still, still use two Bills analysis throughout the game if you want to through it. Um, but really, it's there as a search for a welder, basically through Mysterious Treasure. You can basically use a welder, and then on the next turn, if you don't have a welder, you can Mysterious Treasure for the Mewtwo, or even do it the turn before if you like don't have a pokey gear or an acro bike in your hand um you can mind report after you welder and then you top deck welder for your turn and then you have another welder to go into but if you have pokey gear or acro bike you can kind of hold off on it wait to see what you top deck and then go mind report uh put the welder on top guarantee pokey gear into a welder and then go from there the the ninth place list played a pow pad uh, instead of this but i think the mind report mewtwo is definitely better than the pal pad 100 it's searchable through treasure um you, it, it puts it on top immediately, so you can immediately acrobike or pokey gear into it. And you don't really need six welder in a game. Um, you usually only need four, or sometimes three is enough. It's just kind of like finding three or four of them. Um, so I think the pal pad is not quite as consistent as the, getting into the welder. It puts them back in your deck, but it doesn't leave it on top, so the pokey gear doesn't guaranteed hit it. The acrobike doesn't guaranteed hit it. You can also just the dene into it as well. Um, so I know a lot of people talk about pal pad in this list or in Mewtwo box in general, but I would definitely go with the Mewtwo over Palpad for sure. In something like Abilities Are, the Palpad is a little bit better because your bench gets a lot more uh, clogged early on. You need you need the Nine Tails, you need like one or two to Dene always make their way in play, or one or two Jirachi, and then you need like one or two attackers. So the Mind Report Mewtwo is definitely not as good in Abilities Are. I think Palpad is definitely better there, but I think the Mind Report Mewtwo <laughs> in this Mew box deck is definitely the way to go for extra uh supporter reach um so i would 100 percent play this card again um three mewtwo i didn't like this i really wish i had a fourth mewtwo and i think when i'm gonna cut the i'm gonna cut the rushizard i think i'm gonna put the fourth mewtwo in over the rushizard uh, i really miss the fourth mewtwo a lot finding opening it finding it more easily because you need to find two of them finding the two mewtwo's easily opening it like i really did miss the fourth mewtwo so i'm definitely wanting to put that back in there and i think i would try cutting the rushizard for it because um, I'm just curious to see how the deck functions without Rushizard. So that would be my cut. I would cut the Rushizard. I'd put the fourth Mewtwo in. I really, really, really missed the fourth Mewtwo. Um, Wobbuffet, 100% would play it. Shuts down Victini against uh, Picaromp. It shuts down the Coco Prism. Um, yeah, got to play Wobbuffet. He's just too good. Um, the one play that the, the Ability Zards can do is that they can bring it up and then knock it out with Victini, which is a pretty good play. But that means they're not like pressuring a GX on the turn. So you're usually fine with that trade-off of them knocking out Wobbuffet with Victini. Um, if they do go for that line of play um but yeah definitely keeping him and then the rest of the list i loved uh the acro bikes i would like a fourth one but don't really have the space for it four cherish ball gotta play it four custom catcher gotta play it the radar i've always been a little bit iffy on but i think you want it you just want that extra out to the denny another another way to discard cards as well is super nice um and you don't really need a fourth treasure i think you'd rather have another out to the denny than another out to your psychic pokemon but a fourth treasure would be really nice and that is something that the uh the night the bubble the bubble list from uh sheffield played as well they were plenty playing the four treasure which was definitely like you definitely want to try and maximize consistency but i don't think that's uh essential uh pokey gear gotta have switch hearth viridian forest the energy count the well there's the one bills i would still play the one bills even though i am down to one bills now i use it a lot to like set up because once you once your deck gets down really thin into the late game you can pretty much guarantee pokey gear into bills and then bills into custom catchers to close out game so i would still 100 percent play the bills or if you discard the bills early you can go mind report bills on top get the bills bills custom catchers close out the game as well so yeah would still keep the one up bills but i think one is all you need especially with the mind report mewtwo making up for the lack of a supporter by giving you potential more welders or the second bills um so yeah that's all i gotta say on the list like i said use this list to get second at a league cup over the weekend uh really like mewtwo box right now it's definitely my favorite deck to play you just have a lot of options i don't think it's the most consistent deck i think it's a little bit more inconsistent than the ability zards um but just by a bit just by a little bit not too much i think a lot of the decks are really close as far as consistency a lot of the tier one decks are really close as far as consistency goes right now uh, but definitely my favorite deck to play with right now is this this Mewtwo box deck. So I would definitely say try it out. Like I said, Garantina, Giratina could probably go for whatever you want. I would cut the Charizard for the Mewtwo. Um, but if you want to beat Keldeo, keep the Giratina in. It's really up to you on that one. And uh, yeah, that's going to do it for me, guys. Not going to be playing any games with it. I've been playing quite a few games with Mewtwo boxes on this channel. Just wanted to get a quick video out to you guys so I could get something out to you guys today as far as the video goes. So I thought I would go ahead with like more of a little bit more of a deck profile video today. Um, got any questions for me on the deck? Leave them in the comment section down below. Let me know your thoughts on YouTube box right now. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Have a good day and peace.